Second point, does it mean that a husband will not be punished? To give an objective view, right? The husband in many, many situations will not have immunity. Okay? So he will be punished. Only in those situations that are left out, huh, where he still has the immunity, yes, he's not punished for rape, but he will still be punished for other offences that he commit. For example, tying her up or slapping her or whatever. Okay? So in a sense, we're talking about whether we should criminalize rape as rape. Right? Marital rape is criminal if you, know, you, you slap the wife, tie her up, etc. Okay? So he won't be punished. It's just the extent to which he should be punished. And thirdly, what can the wife do? Are there other remedies? Well, if there are if there are criminal offenses that have been committed, she should make a police report and then he can be prosecuted for you know, causing her or confining her or threatening her, etc. If she's unhappy with the marriage, with the situation that she's in, she can get a divorce. Okay? And of course, if she initiates divorce, then she will not have that marital immunity to contend with anymore. Right? Also, if she's abused, she can apply for a protection order from the family court. And if the husband violates that protection order, he can be sentenced to prison for that. Okay, so there are these other things that a wife can do. Okay, uh, is it impossible to prove a wife's lack of consent? I dealt with something like that earlier already. Because it's a situation between two people only, consent is always hard to prove. And consent is in the mind of the person. Okay? If there are other signs, like physical struggle, you know, torn clothes, physical injuries. If you have witnesses that say, you know, you, uh, the wife ran up, you know, uh, scry uh, crying, screaming, etc. It could be easier to prove rape. Okay? So it is an issue where it's something that happens in private. But as I said earlier, we will never think of giving immunity to a boyfriend right? or someone who had uh, a sexual history before. Okay? Uh, Will removing marital exemption completely lead to abuse by vengeful wives? Okay. I think we have to trust the system. If a husband is wrongly accused of rape, we should give it to the police, the public prosecutor, and ultimately the judge to sieve out the innocent from the guilty. Right? We should trust the system to sort it out. True, there may be some vengeful wives who may report make a false report of rape just to get some advantage. Maybe it's uh, to threaten the husband uh, in say divorce proceedings or just like to, to I don't know, tarnish his, his, his name or you know, create problems for him in, in his employment or whatever. If he's investigated for marital rape, there could be vengeful wives that weigh that against not giving the protection to the wives who deserve it. So who should be protected? Is it the vengeful wives or the, uh, the, the wives who have been really raped and they don't fall within those exceptions? Okay. Finally, what possible reforms can there be? Okay, here, there are various possibilities. Okay. So we can disagree with what should be the ultimate goal and reasonable people can disagree. Okay. But here are the possibilities. One is that we remove the marital immunity completely. Okay? So a husband is treated just like any other person. You prove non-consensual sex, he will be sentenced just like any other stranger. Maximum 20 years. No special consideration for the relationship between the parties. Various countries have gone down this route. Okay? Developed countries as well as developing countries within Asia. Okay? So, they have gone through this route, but note that even in those countries, sometimes the husband is not sentenced to the same level as a stranger rape situation. Okay, so there's some distinction still in the minds of judges between a husband rape and a stranger rape kind of situation. But the law, by its definition, will not make a distinction. Okay? Second possibility is that there should be some 
exceptions uh, to, the, to uh, this marital rate immunity, so we still retain it, but just improve on the exceptions. So presently, for example, under Singapore law, right, you must live separately and then you must apply for a protection order or apply for divorce. Why don't we just say that as long as you have moved out, then obviously you don't have this obligation anymore to have sexual intercourse with the husband. That may be improving on the exceptions, although it will still retain the immunity in some way because it recognizes the marital relationship between them. Okay? So that's another route that's possible. Okay? If we have used that, then in the case of PP and N, the wife will be protected under the law of rape because she had moved out, she has signaled that she no longer agrees to sex at any time, unless she wants to, right, with her husband. Thirdly, it's also an in-between kind of situation. You don't remove, uh, sorry, you, you don't uh, uh, stigmatize the husband for committing rape because you recognize that he does have a special place, a special relationship with this person. Okay? So it's not rape, we shouldn't call it rape and he shouldn't be sentenced the same way as a stranger rape. So you create a special offence for them. Countries that have gone down this route will be India and Malaysia. Okay? So they create a special offence for a case of false sexual intercourse where the parties are married. The, if you read the newspapers today, you will have seen this article where um, apparently this was the first time that a Malaysian man was uh, sentenced under this new offence. Uh, not exactly rape, okay? it's another offence. <coughs> But the difference is that here, it's not caught rape, so it doesn't carry the same stigma, and the sentence is less. Okay, in the case of Malaysia, maximum of five years. Okay, to conclude, we have gone down this route already uh, in Singapore. We no longer agree with blanket immunity. We have partially removed the immunity. Question is, further down, what should we do? Just remove it more or remove it completely? Okay? So, what I hope huh, you will think about is what is best for our society. Right? Think of a situation of PP and N. What do you think that wife would have wanted? Okay? Law is only part of the response, okay? the change in criminal law. Of course, there, there will have to be other changes. Uh, changes in society as well, uh, in how people treat each other. But I think if we do change this marital rape immunity, it will send a strong message about how people, married couples in particular, should relate to each other. Uh, they should act reasonably towards each other, treat wives and women in general as their equals. Right? I don't think there should be any distinction. And finally, I end with this quote, which is from that case of PP and N. The former Chief Justice said, an offence committed against one spouse should not be treated any less seriously than an offence committed against a complete stranger. His hands, of course, were tied by the law at that time. But hopefully, we can see the change in the future. Thank you.